You ever have days where you just want to say, fuck it. Today's that day. So, today was the plan to go get TTNL insurance and uh, exhaust and whatnot put on the truck. So this morning I woke up, butt cracked dawn. I was ready. I wanted to get everything done. Came outside, changed mole, did everything I wanted to do. Make sure that it was ready to go on the road. That I should have no issues whatsoever. Truck's here. And there. Ignore that one. The green one is for the Monte Carlo, but that hood, that's the fender and inner liner. We're going to walk you over there to that. I got T-boned today. After I changed the oil, I uh, came out, was going to take it for a drive, make sure it wasn't going to overheat, should be ready for everything I needed to do. I shouldn't have an issue, but the world doesn't work that way. So, this is what we ended up with. I got hit by an 18-wheeler. I had a my turn signal on to go left. I started to turn left, and the man full-on hit me. Now, the road I was on was, uh, they're doing work on one road. So it's a dead-end road. You can't turn right because there's no road or anything. You can, however, turn left and make a whole loop. I was taking it down a back road, sideway, where nobody, I don't even know if y'all can see any of that, just in case I'm going to... Uh, do a little bit better. Sorry, I will get better at this. Uh, I was going to take it for a side road, side drive, and just make sure it didn't overheat. I wasn't going to have any issues. It didn't shake. It didn't do anything it wasn't supposed to do. That I was, should be completely fine. That is not what happened. And I tell you, I turned left. I was going to go left. This dude swung his brakes on no horn, no nothing, and swerved into the left lane. Instead of going right... He would have avoided me or paying attention and doing what he should have done. Dude hit me, then got out and proceeded to scream at me and ask me why did I uh, turn left when I had my turn signal on to go right. Now, at first I'm, I generally was like, the fuck? And I looked down, my turn signal is going left. Uh, on the video, it's going left on everything I'm looking at. And my turn signal was still going when he hit me and whenever I was sitting there. And then he tried to back up and... I don't know what his thought process was. I guess he thought he was going to leave. Uh, that didn't happen. I didn't get a ticket or anything, so that's that's a good deal. I did have to pay because I didn't have the insurance on it yet. My luck. And that's my fault. I shouldn't have drove it without insurance. And, you know, let this be a lesson to everybody. Learn from my mistakes. Don't do what I do. Uh, I'm an idiot. Do what I do at your own risk. Now, basically what we're looking at is when he hit me, he did all of this. So, I know it doesn't look like it, but that control arm is bent. That is not supposed to bend like that. The uh, This is actually completely fine. I thought that was messed up. But he did hook me when he tried to back up to the door. Otherwise, my door would have been fine. No, he's a ding-dong. Big whoop. Now, this did get dented. That's honestly not that bad. I can go in from underneath in the back of the cab. I actually didn't notice it inside. But I can go back in here... No, I cannot because it's not even that in there. I guess that's going to be covered up and not a problem. Door open fine, by the way. Uh, that I can fix. That's not really an issue. Got to love old Chevrolet. Tough. This got a tad bit bent uh, just barely right here. And honestly, I'm not sure how. I guess just crease. But I can pull that back out. That's not a problem. The fender was bad. I needed to replace the suspension because, believe it or not, it was actually doing this where it was shaking. Uh, beforehand, or that honestly could have just been the spindle loose. It's getting replaced now anyway, but that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. Guys, life sucks. I will say this. Uh, I am not the best at being a Christian, and if this offends you, big whoop. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. I'm not sorry for what I'm about to say. God was with me on this. Uh, I think if I, if I genuinely would have been five seconds more turning or anything, if I would have just done something, anything different, I do believe in the butterfly effect. Everything that you do causes a chain reaction. If I'd have been five seconds faster, I don't think I'd be here right now. For once, I actually uh, 
actually, uh, I don't even know. I, I don't have words for it. So I'm a blessed man. I got to hug my kids again. That was a uh, glorious thing. And uh, tell my fiance how much I love her. And as much as my mom gets on my nerves, I love her too. So take uh, what you have. Don't take your loved ones for granted. You never know when you're not going to see them again. Now, sob story out of the way. Uh, not really a sob story, but enough of that emotional stuff because uh, I still got to fix this. Good news is everything, this came off. This took me like 30 minutes. It wasn't even that bad. Uh, I need a new hood hinge. That hood was garbage anyway. And now with it being all bent up, this thing's scrap metal. Honestly, I might need some sheet metal to fix a piece of my car so I can actually cut out the top layer of this. So that's good to have. Uh, I do, I got lucky. So when the guy put the old fenders in the back, the one that I showed you on the last video that was rusted was actually the passenger side, not the driver's side. So good news is how it looks in the thumbnail on my last video is how it will go back to looking again with a different hood. I'm going to try to find a cow hood. If I don't get one, big whoop. It's not like that one was functional anyway, but I did like the look. I just didn't like the, how do you say, the execution of how they put it on. So, picket parts is where I'm going to be at for my next couple days off, uh, whenever I get days off, and that'll be next week. Um, I have work tomorrow, and the picket place is off, or closed on Sundays. So, uh, that's actually how it was hanging. Well, I'm sorry, it was a little worse than that, but it's done. There's no fixing this. Uh, yeah, there's no fixing that. Damn. I really enjoyed that too and that one's gone so big whoop i'll get new ones uh yo <laughs> hey you know on a side note it still runs so there's that i can uh hop in here and i don't have my keys anymore hold on wait hold up i think i have a spare i forgot my lady took my truck keys and went to the store but i have a spare she still runs, so we're good. That thing just shook the truck. I forgot. It's on the uh, it's on the jack, so I'm not gonna do that anymore. And also with uh, how much clearance is out there, I'm not gonna get anywhere near that. And stick my hand in there and become Nebby Man. So I did have a, a rat trying to do stuff while it was at the uh, impound because, like I said, I didn't have insurance. Yeah, you can see what got bent. This thing took a beating, but you know what? I am genuinely still proud of Chevrolet because that saved my ass. Uh, damn. You know, putting stuff back together is a lot harder than it is to put it or to take it apart. So, I'm going to go over the list and this will be stuff I do over the next couple of uh, videos of me putting things back together because this could happen to anybody or you might just need to replace this stuff on yours. So, if you want to watch how I do things horribly, the stupid way, um, you can watch that. Now, the door, I don't know if every single C10 is exactly the same door. I don't remember if the bylines exactly line up from the 70s to the 80s. I think they do. I'm not right. Big whoop. But this door had to be replaced anyway because I did tell you all about the, the crunchy. And the bottom of it is rusting through. And it is going... Well, you can't see it now, but it was on this side of the door. Which... Surprisingly, stayed in place very well. But you know what? It is what it is. Uh, it sucks that it happened. It sucks that it happened again to me because this isn't the first time I've got hit in one of my hot rods of no fault of my own. Uh, I had a, I think I've put a short on of my lime green 73 Dodge Dart. I actually got rear ended in that car uh, right before I got the Monte Carlos that I had, the 72 and the 70. And the guy that hit me hit and ran now when they called him he had great insurance and a like prison hot or not a prison high a like a bank heist duffel bag of cocaine and then bailed out the next day crazy world we live in so shit happens thing is do we let it sit or do we fix it and i am not ever gonna say it but uh I'm not going to let it just sit here, but 
in all honesty, I do have the other 454. Now, the 454 I have over under the garage is a Gen 6. The Gen 6 is a one-piece rear main seal. That means that the oil pan is very specific if you're trying to put it into a A body, which means they only make two, and they sit around fourteen to sixteen hundred dollars after tax. You're almost a two grand. Two grand is expensive for an oil pan, and I'm not paying that. But the Gen 6 454 will place perfectly in place of this one. And I could take this 454, which is not a Gen 6, it's an RV motorhome engine. And uh, I know I could get a new pan for it for a car, new pickup, old pump, stuff like that. Plop it in the Monte Carlo and uh, have two big block cars. Now, I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, I am very picky on what I really want to do with this Monte Carlo. I've talked to my buddy Kai. Uh, he's actually on uh, my, my, I'm sorry, it's been a long day. I'm losing train of thought. But basically, he is on my subscription stuff. So if you look into who I'm subscribed to, you can actually see he is one of the ones I'm on. Uh, and then you'll see some of the, uh, another guy I watch, and then this one thing that I just love to watch because it's hilarious. Um, anyway, now I've talked to him about swapping that Gen 6 big block over to him for the actual numbers matching engine that was in my Monte Carlo. Now I'm not trying to make this the Monte Carlo video because by no means is it. It's a C10 video. It's a depressing C10 video. I'm rambling. And honestly, it's because I've been so stressed out. I've been to the DMV eight times today. You know, you got to have an appointment for that crap now. Did you know you could schedule an appointment while you're there? Which is weird because I was sitting here wondering how come everybody that walked in that said they didn't have an appointment was getting called. And nobody could explain that to me. And screw the DMV because they're full of... That's honest. The DMV is hell. Like, if you die and go to hell, that's where you end up. Uh, either that or at Walmart, uh, and I really don't know which one's worse, but I'm pretty sure it's the DMV because, quite frankly, it takes so long. The Every person that would go in there would just sit there and look at these people, and they would just do nothing. They would just sit at their desk and do absolute screw all nothing while you just sat there and looked at them like, I will eat you alive. Like, please, for the love of God, just do something with your life. What are you getting paid for? Enough rambling about that. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm tired. Okay. Guys, it's going to come back. This is, I've already got, I've still got insurance on. I've already got the insurance, the plate, and everything done. So it has to be driven. This is going to get driven. I don't care how long it takes me. This will get drove. Hopefully, I, I know I said the last time I was going to actually focus my week of vacation at the end of October on the Monte Carlo, and I was going to do a big, like, throw down, thrash video of getting that thing put together. It's not happening. This is happening. This truck has got to happen. This thing, it's, it's a need. I drove it. It's fun. I got to get new wheels. I'm like I'm really disappointed in that. Now, I work at a wheel and tire shop, so that's not the worst thing. But we don't sell the ones I want. I mean, he even, like, popped the tire off the wheel. Not that go back on. You know, that's not a problem. I can drive it around till then. But they're scarred up. They're damaged. And quite frankly... I like black wheels better anyway. So, let me know if, while I'm off, or while it's all off, if there's anything I should address. Because I know I need to address that dent in the firewall. I'm probably not going to, because in all honesty, it's uh, not going to affect the way it drives or how it bolts on or anything. Now, if it does, I'll address it. But it shouldn't. <laughs> oh, I will say this. Inner fender, if you are replacing your inner fender liner or your fender on your C10, and this should go for any year. Let's say you're replacing the whole shebang, the whole whole thing. You've got a whole front clip you're wanting to put on. For the love of God, do it smart. The inner fender bolts into the fender. Now, obviously, I had to learn this the hard way because these perfect, non-damaged, non-rusted inner fenders are now destroyed. Uh, Basically, you can bolt this thing onto your fender and then just hang the whole thing all in one piece. And it makes life so great. It makes it so easy. And quite frankly, I wish to God I'd have done this a long time ago. The downside is it looks like it's going to rain. And I'm going to have to find something to cover this. I'm tired. Guys, 
Today was not my day. Today was not my day whatsoever. Could be worse though. I could be dead. <laughs> Thank God that didn't happen. All right. Well, y'all let me know if there's anything I need to do. Oh, wait a minute. I had a short on this morning and uh, y'all saw the, I was doing my oil change. Uh, that's the crazy part. I literally did that and not like 10 minutes later, almost died. So I came home. Now I've got, I've got my little tuxedo cat over there called Tux. And I found, where are they at? Because I know they're out here. You can probably hear my son inside. He is having a throwdown hissy fit today. He's teething, so not for not his day. I don't know where they're at, but I found more. Where did it go? Come on. Wait, I heard one. Kitty, 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 kitty. Wait. Where? Here's one, two. Okay. So we got one shop cat. Two shop cat. I named him Teddy. Okay, this guy doesn't like me though, but he's gonna get picked up anyway. Three shop cats. Okay, I know y'all can't really see, but there's two more. And they're adorable. And I love cats. Uh, Cause they keep snakes away and I hate snakes. So, we have shop cats. And they all just appear and I love it. I freaking love cats. Uh, they're adorable. So, uh, subscribe if you see this. It would help out because if I can get to that point where it helps me produce into the next one, it'll help me move this on a lot, a lot quicker. And I'm trying to get to a point where basically every six, seven months, I can afford to do a new project video. I'm just going to set this down because I'm tired of walking. That didn't work out well, so I guess I'm holding it. Guys, I'm fat. Out of breath. It's hot. I've been doing this for way too long. Anyway, I can get to a point where I can start getting another project, something that maybe I can go out there and if it's something that it needs just to get back on the road and drive that thing home, have a whole, like, adventure deal. Because everybody loves that. Everybody loves that. Because I dig that. I'm not saying I'm going to want to copy Roadkill or, like, Classic Garage or anything. But who doesn't love the idea of just buying a vehicle, hoping to God it's worth a darn, and road tripping that thing back home or taking it somewhere or going somewhere. Like, I want to take one of these two uh, to, like, uh, Hot Rod Drag Week or uh, I don't have an LS, so Holly Fest is out of the question. Um, I don't know. I'll figure it out. But, yeah, I want to get into making more car or doing more car stuff and producing more view, uh, videos for you guys to enjoy and just doing stuff like that. I, th I just think that'll be fun. I will not, and I'm, I'm, I know a lot of people like seeing people start from the beginning and finish it out. I hate doing that. Like, I hate it. The Monte Carlo is the only one I'm doing on that. That was a shell when I bought it, besides the engine, but the engine didn't want to run, the transmission didn't want to run. But there was nothing in it, uh, besides the ripped up seat. This is the only car I'm going to do that just... You got to redo the whole thing. I, I don't do restoring stuff. I always said I wanted to do things that were running, just get it right, or don't get it right, really. Uh, just good enough. That's literally my whole motto. GED, it's that good enough degree. I got my whole diploma, but you know what? If you got your GED, it's good enough, dog. Anyway, that's what I want to be. It's more fun. That's how I've always lived my life. That's how I've done all my hot rods. And the Monte Carlo I have now is just, it's my dream car. That's what I want to do. This was supposed... I was honestly going to try to drive this truck home, but Sunday my insurance company was closed. Couldn't do it. It's what it is. And that was that was going to be a long drive and in a place I'm not familiar with, so that might have been a bad idea. So I'm glad that didn't happen. I'm going to shut up now. I'm going to let you guys go. And you know what? I'll see you on the next one. Oh, my God, that's a lot. Okay, I will see y'all on the next one. I'm going to go before I get stung because the uh, last thing y'all want to see is me just laying down on the floor not breathing. Uh, adios, guys. And uh, next time you see me, I'll be putting stuff back together.